um, yes, no, in ways, marketing advertising. If you're wondering why I have a Coke, um, a cup instead of like say the marketing or say the product that this video is about, which is Chris Pepsi, I couldn't find it. I couldn't. I, I went. I mean, I went on a journey. I can show you the the, clip, the clips of the journey I went on. For I, Crystal Pepsi Man, went on a journey to find Crystal Pepsi. However, the journey didn't last long. Oh, right, let's do the clips. And so, the search for pe uh, Crystal Pepsi continues. It's been for a while, uh, for a while now. I mean. They, I mean, some places have said they don't have it. They, they, people weren't buying anymore. But I don't know. And they've also said that they have like a Diet Crystal Pepsi. I don't. I mean, I can deal with that, but I don't know. Oh well. Maybe I'll eventually find it. I don't know. But until next time, this is going to be continuing the search for Crystal Pepsi by the Crystal Pepsi man. I don't know. Well, I wasn't able to find Crystal Pepsi, but I was at least able to find the mountain and doing the glass bottle kind of thing. So, because there's n that's not like there's nothing bad about that. I mean, <laughs> well, I got something at least. <laughs> Maybe I'll have better luck at the next place trying to find it. And now, picture wanting who exactly is Crystal Pepsi Man? Well, now that I've explained who I am, I did a sort of Batman whatever kind of montage, I guess. I guess it's time to do this thing. And now it's the time to discuss Crystal Pepsi. And how so and how Pepsi you're darn, you're gone, going, gone, and done. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that shit. I shouldn't have said. Oh, because it's not advertising friendly. Broody doot, where's the rainbows, everybody? Look, we're gonna go magical ride to Rainbow Land because advertising are supposed to be friendly, happy. But, um, so, yeah, I'm a bit upset because, to give you a bit of history since, like, say, when it first came out this summer, um, I had never had Crystal Pepsi before, but, giving you a little bit of history right now, Crystal Pepsi was first originally introduced in the year 1992 by the, by the Pepsi product company in Denver, Sacramento, and Dallas province, and had, uh, a positive reception and launched on April 12, 1992 and began to sell nationwide until 1993. Sales were good, but by 93, Pepsi pulled the, the drink off the product off the market and the final batches were delivered to retailers and during the last few months of 1994. Eventually there was also they also tried to do a Never one which had which basically was trying to get an idea of basically trying to make a never version of it which was crystal Pe or crystal pepsi blue and it it didn't really work there well i mean in 2005 they had a pepsi clear which was sold in mexico for a limited time only and that one was bought for trademark because of it didn't work and it was in Mexico. Um, and it's back in September of 2014, um, re the re Coca-Cola company reintroduced the soft drink surge, leading to a bit of speculation that we might be getting Crystal Pepsi again. And on 2015, March of 2015, an online campaign began to bring back Crystal Pepsi. The following month, and a separate position, a competition 
basically a campaign to bring it back with over 37,000 pos change position signatures signed. And, and on basically on like basically society saw like oh there's this huge interest in the game again so on May there was basically on 8, 8 June 8th 2015 Pepsi indicated that they might be making a comeback in November of 2015 there's a hinted notification on Twitter that the drink will be coming back and that fans could be getting it could like win it like a six pack of the drink by entering a sweepstake and the drink was officially came was came back to stores on June to, in June 2016 and it came back in Canadian stores on July 7th and on other stores on August 8th Although the difference between this version and the one from 1990s was that this one contains caffeine, which the original apparently didn't. So, that's a quick rundown, and the drink is only going to be running for, uh, like, selling in stores until, the big, until, like, say, the 1st of October. <sighs> Look, I understand marketing. I do. You make, you, like, basically, so, like, if you have part of your project, you only sell part of the year, so then you can get your money back to make more of it. It's like, say, that's why, say, McDonald's, they don't have, like, say, something that's very popular all the time. Because it gets people to come back. Like, if you have the, like, say, part all the time, then there's not going to be much of an interest anymore. It, like, becomes less special. It'd be, I mean, because, like, here's an example, like, um, before I became a college, um, we didn't have, um, say, five guys from where I'm at. So they decided to say, hey, and then they eventually came. And although I still like five, go five guys, it's not as special to me anymore because I don't always associate uh, five guys with, say, vacationing. But I don't understand. Why not make more Crystal Pepsi? Just why not? Give me one f***ing reason. If you can make more, you make more money. You make more profit. But, it's whatever. I mean, you can make more of all the things you want. I mean, you can like say, oh hey, we got this new Mountain Dew. It's pitch black. It's, yeah. Oh yes, I mean, it's okay, but it's not the best. I prefer the original, and I also prefer, um, I also prefer the Baja Blast, which apparently they're also getting rid of. But, if you want to get rid of Crystal Pepsi and get upset, tons and tons of people because, like, say, oh, it's only a short term marketing campaign. No one cares. You sell a drink, you sell it, you sell it. If it makes money, fine, good. And if it makes money, keep selling it. It's not like saying like, oh, it's not making money here, so we're gonna have to discontinue it permanently. No, you don't fucking do that. You sell that, you sell the drink, you sell it, and you sell it good. And Pepsi, if you don't keep selling that stuff, there's gonna be more, more, more people upset. You guys sell that stuff, and you guys sell it now. He can't be going there and just saying, oh, we're not going to give you more Crystal Pepsi because uh, we had to call it all back because reasons and money, money, money. No. You're going to sell it stuff. You're going to sell it now. You got to sell it. And if, people, and if people don't want it, fine. Take it to some place where some people will want it. There's, there's, people want it. It's like saying, people don't want pet. Oh, it's like saying, People might not want Pizza Hut or something. People would want Crystal Pepsi because it might be popular. So, in conclusion, I wasn't able to find Crystal Pepsi in my area. So, 
Unfortunately, I couldn't drink any to show you how awesome it is because I like it. This is me signing off saying, Crystal Pepsi Man says, Pepsi, make sure you keep selling that Crystal Pepsi. Although you can make more money by doing it in the summer. That's still not that cool. You can say like, oh, it's, it's a lot of months to go through just to say, oh, we can get this thing back. It's a marketing campaign. Whatever. Just bring it back. Keep it in stores. I don't care. Signing off now. I mean, goodbye. See you real soon. Crystal Pepsi Man is, is here to see.